um, YouTube as well. Uh, sorry for the loss in transition. Let's see if we can get back on. We'll see what happens. Obviously, we've lost a lot of people. Um, so I've just got to do one thing over here. Let's oh, it's all it. technical here. It's technical inside the house, but outside, we're still on old-fashioned telegraph poles, aren't we? It's awful. Get, get it bloody sorted. I feel like Nicky Baxter should do a little... Do a little video a for little, us. A little grumble, right? a grumble about old-fashioned technology. Um, look, I think we're back. Oh, somebody says we're back. Sorry for the delay. We've got you know, a bird lands on the telegraph wire and it um, goes, thank you for popping back, Cinders McDuffie. Sorry we disappeared. We will finish our little um, meander through. Um, we're back live. Oh, you can hear my voice on the phone. Uh, so where were we? We were Bawana Staminov. Bawano Staminov. Uh, um, which is quite a recent song, this, isn't it? Was it 2000? So I think it was around the time that um, The Greatest Showman came out, I think, because it had that kind of Greatest Showman, this is me yeah. vibe. Um, yeah, sorry about that, everyone. The internet dropped in our house, so suddenly we had no internet, which means we disappear. As Nikki says, uh, she says, put 50p back in the meter uh, and we're back on. But when Stamanov, uh, Alan did wonders with this costume. So talk us through... How you created that? Um, well, for those who know, um, I know him so well. When I'm wearing Barbara Dick, when I'm Barbara Dixon, I've got a lovely little grey blouse on. So it's that, and um, off eBay, I bought a pair of Wilco silver curtains, which then get attached to my shoulders, and the things glittering on the shoulders is just two tinsel wigs that I wore for Verka last year. And you've got a beaded curtain. Yeah, as well. <laughs> I bought a beaded curtain because I needed some of the strands of the beaded curtain to be Joy Fleming's necklace <laughs> as well. And the thing in, right in my hair is what Divinity wears around her neck. And the thing on his head is what Sherry wears on her noggin. So it's a Sherry stump wig on Cliff Richard's hair. Oh, is it really? Yeah. Um, and lots of little spingly rings, spingly I, rings. I said to her, oh, you look amazing. Let me take a full length photo of you. No. You look so good. No. <laughs> then I realised he's uh, just in his pants from the way down. Of, a, a pair of um, running shorts. <laughs> Glamorous. Um, I love, like lovely rugby legs underneath. <laughs> I love this song because it's all about, you know, we're all individual. Love yourself. We should love each other, love ourselves. <laughs> and we're different. So we're all different. So bloody what? Scylla says you're a marvel with a with a curtain from Wilco's. You see, the thing is, people go, oh, you should do a live show. But if we walked on stage in in cycling shorts <laughs> and a couple of Wilco... <laughs> s Wil Wilco curtains. It wouldn't look good. That's why we need Vinted. We're getting all these um, party dresses from Vinted so we can camp them up and drag them up a bit. Um, because you'll be amazed what they do on, like, photo shoots. They clamp... <laughs> Like, you know, models in their outfits, they gaffer tape, you know, they do all, all sorts of, like, quick fixes. Oh, uh, um, I just read through that made me chuckle here. Um, Seven Network says that poor Scylla's on um, LWT dial-up broadband. Oh, is she? <laughs> she has that bing, bing, bing when she gets in. Oh, we are glad to be back with you. We have one last act to talk you through. Oh, two last acts. So we kind of touched on this, but um, oh, let oh me yeah, 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 get back. Uh, Sam Ryder, this year's uh, Eurovision song, which we love, and we hope he wins or gets right up there at the top. Um, I think he deserves to win because I think it's a great song, and he seems just a lovely guy, great voice. Mm. Um, I painted my beard with um, uh, brown face paint and, and then, then some yellow. red lipstick and then a little bit of um, lighter brown lipstick and then some yellow. Did my eyebrows as well. I mean, the wig that I wear for Courtney, who's one of the influencers that you see yeah, against the this phones. wall. Uh, and then we tried a hairdryer, didn't work. 
We tried a fan, didn't work. So we got the leaf blower out. Worked. Worked, but my goodness, it was blocked up with a load of shit that came flying out at my face. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so my Sam Ryder. We'll put up the... Uh, we'll put up some um, outtakes, because um, you'll see like the dirty, filthy lawn. And you can't, I, you blower. know, I can't hear the music to lip sync to when that happens. Um, so it's just flying at my face. Such a good photo. So. But when we uh, when we said, oh, it's, it's you, you know it's Eurovision time, we thought we have to have Sam in our mix. Um, what the beard? Yeah, and I was saying to Illinois, how can I get his hair? Maybe I should film some of it upside down so my hair's sort of like flying up. Do I want to do something uh, strange? But no, we did uh, the leaf blower. Poor Jamie got shit faced. <laughs> yeah, literally. I suffer from my art. I didn't put my contact lenses in for that bit because I but knew you, if I got grit in my contact lenses, it'd yeah. be a nightmare. So I'm um, blind as a bat at that point. Um, so fingers crossed he's going to do really well on Saturday night. He's um, got a little neck tattoo. If I'd known that, I'd have drawn that on. But I've got a set of beads on, I think, to give my that hippie vibe. Anyway, my Sam Rider. The last act is Scooch. Um... Which again is it has to be, has to be um, part of the, the, the campest c- collection of songs we've ever had in Europe. It's got isn't innuendo it? in it. It's got naughty innuendos in it. It's got like a safety demonstration in the middle of it. A bit about putting it in your mouth and blowing. I mean, it's like if Carry On did Eurovision, this is the song they'd create, wouldn't it? <laughs> it would. Do you remember Sco- there was another band like Scooch called Deuce? Around that time, Juice. Oh, oh. Didn't, yeah, weren't they out of tune and everything? I don't know. I think Ant from Ant and Dec's wife, who's now a makeup artist on Strictly, was in Juice. They did a song called On the Bible I Will Share. And I think young Jamie knows a dance routine to that. You see, I, I quite liked Scooch. I thought it was very, very catchy. Um, you know, a bit little, you know, and, and Summers ish outfits. Alex and Mark love Scooch. Boys. Bottom scooches, are they married? Those two at the bottom, are they married to each other? I think they are. Jason knows juice on the Bible. <laughs> I know a whole routine. It involves some genuflecting. Um, you can imagine me in uh, heaven doing a bit of deuce dance routines. I think it was my... They, deuce played at the first ever Pride I went to in London. Yeah, when, when we decided to put scooch in the mix, James said, oh, the little red hat. I said, no problem, no problem. Blue jackets. Oh, now then. But you made the um, red hat, didn't you? Out yeah. of some crepe paper and cardboard. Out of a cornflake box and some red paper. And then the blue jacket. Um, with, vintage for a fiver. Yeah, a vintage jacket. And then we used gaffer tape down the edge to give those little silver trims. We used yeah. uh, gold to give Alan his epaulets when he's the captain. Uh, a couple of little uh, scarves. And I said, Jamie, do you need, do you need a prop, prop for your suck, suck on this bit? And we had that from uh, Coronation Street when Rita went to Blackpool. Oh, is it? I thought it was from Willy Wonka. Oh, it is. Sorry, it is, it is from Willy no, Wonka. No, Rita has it Oh, yeah, as Rita well. has it from... Uh, and then Alan, as his... We like both thought Alan looked beautiful as that air hostess. Um, oh, you're very kind. No, you thought it as well, didn't you? You yeah. said, oh, I do. I look beautiful. Um, we had to film her again because it was out of focus. It was blurred. It focused on my glittery scarf. And not my face. So uh, we filmed. So Alan had to dress up as her again on the second day. On Sunday, so we could uh, film it. Scooch was reminiscent of the Pizza Hut song. Yeah, uh, Pizza Hut. But I Pizza noticed Hut. they've got little sort of red brassiers popping through. Have you seen? They're but they're saucy. Yeah, we didn't, we didn't have red brassiers. Well, you, I would I'd have popped a little red brassier on you. Know me. And I, did, if you see on the video, I did the bits that those um, girls in the backing do. Uh, you stole them bits, didn't you? Yeah, you know, it's, like in the Eurovision, they always have like the better singers are just in the background doing like the real song. Mm. They they were those girls, but, but yeah, they was, they I were they think. were um, uh, passengers, weren't they? In, are they passengers? Yeah, they're all sat down in the seats and everything while these come on with trolleys. Um, anyone know if those people at the bottom in Scooch are married? I'm pretty sure they are. There's a little bit of my brain that tells me they were on celebrity coach trip together. Oh, okay. I think they're a married couple, the people at the bottom. And Filippo is just uh, reminding me of the um, the fast food rockers. The pizza I've just hut. done the little dance. Oh, did, you you? Not, did you not listen and see me do it? I thought you were doing the scooch dance. No, I did a little 
Pizza Hut song. Uh, the blonde bloke looks like David Van Day's younger brother. Um, wasn't Bobby a big rock? Is that, oh, Scylla. Poor Scylla. Uh, I think they are married, says Claire B80. Uh, Mark doesn't know. He loves Scooch. No idea on the uh, marriage. Mark's let us down on not only the uh, marital relationships of many of the Eurovision stars, but their heights as well. Um, today I put I put together like a little um, list of all the people I'd like to thank for all the tips and presents and cards. And um, I put Mark and Alex on the list. Ooh. And I wrote Mark, Mark and Alex and the Coping Stones. And it sounds like a band, doesn't it? Mark and Alex and the Coping Stones, it does. The girl top left looks fab. She does, doesn't she? Is that me or you? You. Oh, yeah. I'm bottom right. I, I scrub up. I don't, you know, I scrub up quite well. Uh, there's certain, like, uh, outfits you wear that you could quite convincingly go around Scarborough in, and I don't think people would clock you. Divinity. Divinity would be all right. This one, Claudia Winkleman, definitely. Claudia Winkleman could go for a pint in the Grand. What, what, what about that? <laughs> Nana Muscori. Not so much. <laughs> I can imagine her working at Coupland's the Baker's. I reckon if I shaved... No, I don't... If I shaved my beard off, I still wouldn't look good. We, um... I was in, uh... Le Cajot Fall when I was, um... Young. 17, 18. And, um... I, uh... Looked like Michelle Fowler, Susan Tully. What, when you dragged up? Yeah. <laughs> I had a look I'd... of... I had a look of Sue Tully. <laughs> Well, even with lashes and things. <laughs> yeah, no, you know Sue Tully when she had, when she was like birthing Dan's child, looked a little bit like. Did her. Sue Tully always, always have a mouth open? Like She's a big director now, Sue Tully. She is, yeah. Uh, Mark uh, Hall coping stones are now stacked in the hall, ready for laying on the wall. We saw a photograph, and I think we saw one coping stone has gone on a wall. It's a test. Is that a test? Filippo says I'd pass as a woman round Wigan. Wasn't he in... Oh, so the blonde guy was in Bid Up TV. Bid TV. <gasps> Bid TV. Uh, Melanie Fellies. Top three songs. Wow, these are like hardcore ones. A Pops. A Pops. Oh, I, can't, I can't even read this. Pops, he has... Hey, what? Hey. CYP. Uh, are they... 89. Number plates. Oh, I don't, we, Melanie, we don't understand your code. Oh, that's the year. But what's CYP? Cyprus. Yugoslavia. Cyprus, 89. 89. Greek, 85, and Socrates. Oh, you sent me... Socrates came too late. Um, a lot of these will have to go next for next year's. Oh, yeah, Philippus, um, Baby Doll. Have I even shown you Baby Doll yet? No. Baby Doll's genius. She's like Charo. Um, we are going to... Thank you all for hanging out with us. We've got a bit of drink left, but I'm going to play a song, which is kind of the end credits. Uh, as normal. And then after that, we do after the lock-in. After that, in. we'll be back for the lock-in. Well, bit of a lock-in. Bit of a lock-in. A bit of a chat. But, um, yeah, let me play the song, because this is something fun that I sourced today. Um, this is not an isolation creation. Before you watch it, it's not an isolation. This is not us, but it should be. We'll see you on the other side. I reckon we should have teamed up years what? ago, you know. What? what? Do you think we should have? Well, yeah, because I mean, we're two of a kind. Oh, yes, we're partners, all right. Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> Through thick and thin. <laughs> Night or day. Right or wrong. Ours will still be hot. Da, 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 da. 
Isn't that amazing? Little thing from the isolation creation vaults for did you. you. Did you recognise them as ladies? Rosemary. Yeah, there was questions in YouTube. Who is it? Uh, yeah, Rosemary. So it's not Scylla this week, I'm afraid. Um, but we've had Scylla in the... Uh, do you know, in, do you know what it reminded me of? It reminded me of two women who just got divorced. <laughs> and they go, right, get you, get your glad rags on. I'm, I'm taking, taking you, you out. <laughs> so their outfits are a little bit like wrong, and they, they've, they, you know, and they've they've had a couple of like spritzers. They've had a, a and the karaoke started. They've had a jug of cocky teas at Weatherspoons. And the karaoke started, and they're like, right, let's get up there, smashing, um, wonderful. People will know Erica's still here. What's the song from Friendship? What show is that song from? Um. You've seen Rosemary do a little concert, haven't you? She did the John Inman yeah, tribute. Did, yeah, she? She, yeah, she was. Yeah, she still got it. Um, and Sue, Sue Pollard. Obviously, I think she brought the comedy stick in. Oh, we love a bit of Sue. I love Sue Pollard. And she was very Verka there, wasn't she? She was a little bit Verka. Yeah. Um, and uh, people have said that Rosemary's be on things like punchlines, uh, and she, she was always on things like that, wasn't she? She was. She just popped up on a lot. Um, Pyramid Game? Isn't it from Gypsy? It's not from Gypsy. I thought it's it's not from Mame either, is it? Oh, we need to find out. It was on the original Parent Trap, says Nibbles and Bubbles. Sue Pollard is very popular at Isolation Creations. As are you, Scylla. Um, we, are we, we've, we've finished the Asahi, Joel. It was gorgeous. Oh, it was lovely. It's one of my beers of choice when we go to a noodle bar. Yeah. Asahi. Quality. Of Joel course. BG Bear. Sarah, jo- quality. Thankfully, BG Bear has let us know it's from Anything Goes. Of course it is. It's sung by Reno Sweeney and the um, the clergyman in Anything Goes, I think. So uh, Robert Lindsay and Sutton Foster did it recently. Uh, yeah, Anything Goes, Filippo. Yeah, yeah. Song from the musical Anything Goes. Ethel Merman. Thanks, Gabby. Um, Alex says he's surprised Sue Pollard never got a, a slot on Eurovision. Yeah, she'd be wicked on Eurovision, I wouldn't she? I think she'd get a lot of points, wouldn't she? Will Venus, lovely Will Wiggs, <laughs> Will Wiggs as I call him, went to see Sue's play Harpy a few years ago. Oh, Absolutely right. fantastic. We saw um, we saw it online, not the production. Uh, it never came up here. It looked great. She, she played did it recently, great. didn't she? Yeah, she played a hoarder or something, yeah. I think. Um, and she's also doing a one-woman show at the moment. Just uh, yeah, yeah, and it's coming near us, but not near enough for us to go. We don't, we don't drive. Oh, there we we're go. always writing to people on um, Facebook Marketplace saying we're really interested. Hello, we we'd like drive. to buy your we'd like to buy your dinner service. <laughs> well, we don't, no, we drive. don't drive. I can't walk around town with pots in a bag. I don't drive. <laughs> Can you bring it to us, please? Um, we'll pay petrol. Um. Uh, somebody said it was um, Anything Goes, Ethel Merman. Anything right? Goes, it is Anything Goes. Uh, I remember uh, Patti LuPone in Anything Goes. Great song. There's some really good songs like that. Buzz and Buddies is another really good song we that we should always. do. Always. I've got a, a copy of that sung by Rowena Wallace and Pat McDonald from um, Sons and Daughters. Pat the Rat and Fiona Thompson. Uh, random aside from Filippo, very random, but uh, Filippo once saw Gary Wilmot in concert in Blackpool. He was fab. Oh, he's, he's, a, he's a belter, isn't he? Who have we been seeing concert that was quite... Ruthie Henschel, we've seen yep. in concert a couple of times. Um, I t- I used to take Alan to see Maria Friedman in concert quite oh, a lot. Oh, yeah. We loved it, but apart from one little bit where she used to put bunches in, do you remember? Oh, she plays um, What's the Face in Sweeney Todd. This is Love It. And she, for she some used to reason... do the worst pies in London. She pops, she pops a little funny pinny on. She has a couple of mince pies on a plate. But she but does these bunches. bunches. It's like, don't, they're little baby. Babies have them. Not. Bye, Michael. Bye, Mishmash. Bye, Mishmash. Um, so she put little bunches in. It's like, you don't do, don't do that. Don't do that. And she'd get someone up from the audience to be the customer. Oh, a customer. And she'd give you a mince pie. We saw like a sort of, well, I don't know what they call them, but. When they're doing the show against... Um, Michael came to see Maria Friedman with us. He did. He was singing half the songs on stage. He was humming along, wasn't she he? She was singing Downtown on stage. And Alan's brother was... What was he doing? Downtown. Downtown. <laughs> and people were going, shh, shh. 
Um, yeah, so one of the what we were watching um, Maria Friedman and is it Bryn Teffel? Bryn Teffel, yeah. Bryn Teffel playing Sweeney Todd and Mrs. Lovett. Mrs. Lovett. And it was one of those um, where, where it's, they sing it with an orchestra. Like a state, like a concert version, stage and, concert. Um, we both worked at the, at the Foot Royal Festival Hall and it had been closed for two years. And so t- as a celebration of it reopening, they put this on. And then um, budget, the budget sort of went a bit through the window and they didn't have very much money. And so um, the uh, barber shop chair was a just an office chair. From, just an office chair from like Alan's office at the festival hall. I think that's why she had, on rollers. That's why she had like mince pies and <laughs> had to put around bunches in her hair. But it was still good, wasn't it? It was wonderful. It was brilliant. We also went to see a concert version of um, Company done by the London, the BBC Concert Orchestra. That was good as well, mm. wasn't it? Um, oh, F- Filippo, um, we're also obsessed at the moment with Stars in the Rise online. He just said that he saw, uh, he was in the, in the audience when Edwina Curry was Edith Piaf. Uh, what, who did we see recently? Julie, 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 Julie Goodyear. Julie Goodyear as Marlena Dietrich. Marlena Dietrich. It's where she went, tonight, Davina, because it's Davina. Tonight, Davina, I'm Marlena Dietrich. But she does that thing with Julie Goodyear. We're both very strong women. We're we, grafters. We're grafters. We're blonde. We uh, both. We've both through, been through a world war. Mine was in a Rovers. We're like a ciggy. <laughs> she does a ciggy on stage as well. And we were. We watched the whole thing, thinking, "Oh, she'll win." Mm. But um, Leanne Battersby wins as Kylie, which was good. Not as good as no, no, she's Madonna. As modern Madonna, not as good as Jay Goodyear. Um, but I said, "Oh, I think sure, I'm sure Julie Goodyear wins this," but didn't. And uh, Mel and Sue, they do. Um, Elaine Page, Barbara Dixon. Oh, do they? Yeah. Oh, I don't remember that one. Um, um, but yeah, celebrity stars in their eyes. They didn't bring that back for a laugh. Yeah, yeah. It was so funny because we, we have all sorts on, don't they? Ian Lee w- wanted was asked to be on it and he said, oh, I want to be. I can't remember who he wanted to be. But they said, no, if you do it, you've got to be Justin Hawkins from The Darkness. Where? And he said, well, I don't, I don't sound like They bullied him. him, bullied him into it. So I don't want to do it. Thank you very much. <laughs> Goodbye. Uh, we saw Esther, didn't we? Was she Edith Piaf as well? Esther might have been Edith Piaf, Filippo. Maybe they've both been it. I think Esther was Edith Piaf as well. Esther during her little fruit can be dangerous phase. I can imagine Edwin really Curry doing it as well, though. Esther wore a lot of syrups in um, Strictly, didn't she? Early days of Strictly. Uh, Filippo says it was never broadcast. <gasps> Ed- Edwina Curry, body bag from Bad Girls was Ethel Merman. Oh my lord! John Barnes, the footballer, was Will Smith. George Hamilton, Julio in- Julio Iglesias, and Filippo's mate Carly Stenson was Faith Hill, and Carly won. Body bag. Seth so Merman. We're obsessed. Philippa, we're obsessed with oh, Body Bag. Oh my word. What an amazing show that would have been. We're obsessed with Helen Fraser. I'm going to look at who Carly Stenson is. She's from. She's from a soap opera, I think. That's her Uganda. Oh, Bad Girls from. Um, but Seth Merman, that would have been amazing, wouldn't it? We've got to um, do Bad Girls at some point, haven't we? Well, I've got, I've got the V neck V neck vest. Oh, Carly Stenson's lovely. I know who she is. She was in Hollyoaks. I just said, just told you. I was a, I was a drug dealer in Hollyoaks, Filippo. Back in the day, back in the very early days, when um, they had to have an acting coach on set because no one could act. I know Carly Stenson. I know I know her from reality TV more than Hollyoaks. From Dings, what did you do? Do a good year again. Well, but. Uh, we both got two women. We're both... I can't do her now. Now I'm thinking about it. We're both grafters. We're both blonde. We're like a friggin' ciggy. She's back. Da, 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 da. Tonight, Delina, I'm Marlena Dick Trick. There's nothing I like better than being on my farm at the moment, Davina. It was it was tough on that street. Cobbles. Known her for 20-odd years. She's Sup gorgeous. Up and piss off. 45 years ago today, Joan Crawford passed oh. away. We are, we're missing so many funny comments in YouTube. I'm so sorry. I've not even looked, but I've just seen that um, they're talking about the moment of truth with Scylla, which was one of our favourite little shows. That was evil. Will Venus has mentioned that Vicky Entwistle, a.k.a. Janice Battersby, did Björk. 
on celebrity yeah. stars in the rise. Um, yes, so uh, we saw we saw um, the moment. Is it called Moment of Truth? Where you take children's toys away from them. Yeah, you show them what they're going to win, and then they don't because their dad can't remember every flag of the world. And the toys were like crushed in front of the kids' eyes. Jarvis Cocker did Rolf Harris. Oh, yes, I remember that one. Did he have his little wobble board? Yeah. yeah. Oh, my goodness. No one, of things don't, no one of things don't hit the screens. Bad Girls, will Sherry be in it? Sherry would be in Bad Girls, wouldn't she? Yeah, she wouldn't be a warder either. <laughs> All right, my loves. Dawn, Liz Dawn was Peggy Lee. Oh, we're going to have to delve into the archives of Stars da, and the Eyes. Da, 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 da. We're both gutsy German women, Davina. <laughs> Tonight, Davina, I'm going to be... Cropbacks. <laughs> um, if you have time on your hands and you want to have a bit of a laugh, please put our faces into um, that new profile pick app. Uh, us doing characters um, and send us them because we, we're loving them. Nikki Baxter just said, why don't they do it in reverse where celebrities go? Tonight, Davina, um, Ma- Maureen Radcliffe from Gonaby Street. <laughs> just come on as members of the public. Um, yeah, if you wanted, to, if you have that new profile pick app, put our faces in as Pat Butcher, uh, Scooch, whatever you want to, pop it in and send it us them because we're finding them really funny. I read on Twitter today, someone said these new profile apps make people look like celebrities on the side of waltzes. Yeah, they do. Those yeah. airbrush pictures. Yeah, I, I tried to do grot bags. Oh no, Jason, lovely Jason Darcy did grot bags for me. He sent it to me. But it did it all in like, you know, she had like peach skin and blonde hair. But I sent you it. We've got uh, uh, Nelly Pledge. The lovely Nelly Pledge did it on uh, Twitter for us. Anyway, my darlings, thank you for hanging out with us. We're dead sorry that um, the internet went down when it did. But to those of you who hang out, thank you. Um, I'm sorry about that. We're going to go. Um, I still is talking about Moment of Truth thing. ITV wanted a Japanese style game show. It was out of her hands. Oh, I'm desperate to know who Scylla is. We, I, I, told you, I just like Scylla being Scylla. We love you. We love you hanging out with us. Um, enjoy your revision. Enjoy your revision. Enjoy uh, your week. Enjoy your weekend. We'll be on Twitter during your revision, letting you know what we're thinking. So, uh, yeah, find follow us on Twitter. There's most probably not going to be a video this week because we worked so hard on last week's. Yeah, um, but we're gonna look at some some outtakes and possibly put them up. Oh, uh, Sarah and Joel, thank you for the beer for the presents. Oh yeah, the beer and the presents were lovely. 